and welcome back to the Houston Texans franchise rebuild here today we have week 15 action versus the Washington Commanders welcome back to the channel everyone I hope you're all having a great day please leave a like comment down below what you thought of today's action and don't forget to subscribe so Houston is coming off of a loss versus the Tennessee Titans losing to them 30 set 38 to 17 in a ball game where we saw Mason Pryor go down with an injury we saw Matt Ryan step up and really didn't do anything for us thankfully our franchise quarterback is okay so we don't have to worry about that we did start some negotiations with a couple players players like uh, both on the defensive side of the ball and um chase linovich as well as greedy williams two players that i would like or i'm considering keeping i'm offering them contracts we'll be doing small deals like that as we go but now we're entering in the last four stretch of this regular season we're sitting here nine and five a half game above both the titans and the colts and we're currently right now the number two seed we now have a washington football commanders that are uh, probably outsiders trying to make the postseason so this is kind of a playoff game here for us but we see that the chicago bears are in we see that the Bengals are in two other teams that are in this last stretch and as well as uh we have the jacksonville jaguars a team in our division so we have four tough football games to finish off this regular season and i want to finish it off strong and get these players involved now let's go quickly check out this um commander's team and get into today's action as well as a little bit of an update to um the channel i know i've been doing these five-year realistic rebuilds i am going to be stop doing them until madden 24 so there will be no more madden 23 realistic five-year realistic rebuilds um it's something that i started too late in my opinion that's my bad guys um I appreciate all the support but when madden 24 drops i will be getting right into them so just wanted to give you guys that little channel update but let's go check out this commander's team taking a look, quick look at this commander's team they are led by terry mclaurin who's going to be out for this ball game so that's actually pretty good for us but their top two next playmakers is jonathan allen as well as Jaron payne two interior defensive tackles as well as chase linovich so they have a top tier um, defensive line they have Kyle Kendall Fuller, Dawson Knox, who they brought in through free agency, and plenty of other ta talented players. Starting quarterback is Sam Darnold, who has bounced around this league. Um, so hopefully we should be able to take advantage of him. Antonio Gibson is their starting running back. Without Terry McLaurin, we're going to see a lot of Jarvis Landry, Jonathan Dobbs, as well as De Demon Brown, with a couple rookies here. Um, I'm expecting Landry to be in the slot, but Knox is their top tier top tight end and talent at the receiver position so it's going to be hard for us to stop him we we have struggled against tight ends in this franchise so far and we know this defensive line is elite even though they have Derek Barnett here at defensive end you know they still have Zach Perman a second year edge rusher who in their scheme I guess is an outside linebacker but he has excellent finesse moves so you know I assume he plays across the defensive line and they got two very good linebackers here you know th this is a tough team you know they got good players players that i like that have been drafted like phil sand uh sellers here who was another corner that i really liked um but overall i think we should be able to beat this um team this commander's team it's gonna be a tough matchup i think it should be fun though so let's get into today's action and welcome to sunday night football here in week 15 it's the commanders versus the uh houston texans the texans are coming off of a massive loss the question is towards their starting quarterback mason Pryor, who went down with an injury last week he is expected to start and play in this ball game here how will Pryor's injury affect him for the commanders there are outsiders in the nfc they're trying to make it in as a wild card team and it starts here today for a win we are the last month of the regular season in year three of this franchise let's get into today's action and leading out his houston offense is number 15 mason Pryor, 34 touchdowns to 14 interceptions he's on pace for a little over 4,000 passing yards we'll see what he can do in these next four games here but we're gonna have to see how his shoulder holds up last week he was out 
for the rest of the ball game in the early stages of the third quarter we need him to finish this season strong prior here will start on the shotgun at his own 24 yard line tony pollers to his left he takes the snap looks to throw slings it over the middle here is nico collins who reels it down who had a busy day last week and he brings it down for 18 spreading out this defense here on first down in the pistol formation here goes damian pierce his first touch the two top tier playmakers getting the carries and receptions each getting over 12 yards as you guys can see down below the tennessee titans beat the colts here so that's an important matchup here tennessee's right behind us here on second on first down trying to get that ball to pierce penalty flag is thrown i think this is going to be a personal foul call here and it is and that's i think on uh no wow that's holding on nate davis i thought mason Pryor got hit late well it was a holding call so now it's first down and 20 after that play and so now we're going to go back to Damian Pierce, trying to get some lost yardage back here. He's only going to get a couple. Second down and 18 here, prior to the pistol formation yet again. Takes the snap, quickly gets this ball to Duvernay, and Duvernay off the receiver screen. He's going to get eight yards here. So now it's third down and eight here to tight end formation here. Wilkerson and Collins to the left, looks to throw his prior, and he's going to be sacked. This is Chase Young with a big time sack here for his commander's defense. And we're going to have to punt here off our first drive. And leading out his commander's offense is Sam Darnold. The journeyman quarterback has had a breakout campaign. 38 touchdowns to eight interceptions. He's looking fantastic. Might be in the MVP race right now. A little career revival for this veteran quarterback. Darnold and his offense here will start at their own five yard line here. What can they do without Scary Terry? He looks to throw for the first time in today's action. Checks it down here. And that is to Robinson. This defense is trying to force a quick three and out here. It's third down and eight. Darnold back to back throws here. And this is going to be a catch here. And I believe that's Landry who reels it down. The veteran receiver for a fresh set of downs. First time Darnold will go under center here for a set of downs. Gonna hand this ball off to Gibson here and our defense quickly swarms to him. And this is exactly what we gotta do to slow down these top tier running backs in this league. Second down and eight now here for Darnold and his offense. He's dropping back, looks to throw yet again here. Here's Dawson Knox who they brought in through, in through this past free agency period, maybe a couple off seasons ago. But he's their number one target here besides Landry, I feel, without Scary Terry. Here's Gibson, though, up the middle of this defense, sheds off initial contact, and he's going to get a good 15 yards and a first down. Tackling is something that we have struggled in at times with this defense. we got to sure that up. Darnold looks to throw. Plenty of time. Time starting to run out here. Here's Hicks. Hicks gets back there for the big time sack. He has really stepped up ever any since he got injured. And I believe that's his third sack back with his defense. As it will be third down and 15 here, Darnold got to get it past the 40-yard line of Houston. Looks to throw. Plenty of time, and he's going to throw it away here. They're going to be punting here. Well, early on, this game has been a field position battle here. We'll start at our own six-yard line here prior. Here he's going to hand this ball off to Pierce, and Pierce has struggled over these last few weeks. He's going to get five as Andre Dillard's down on the field. Up to the shotgun here, Tony Pollard's the back here. Second down and five. Pryor looks to throw, feeling the rush, and he's going to go down here, sacked again. And thankfully, it's not a safety, but Mason Pryor, yet again, down on the field. This is something that we cannot see from our young quarterback. And right now, Tyler Huntley is out there. For this third down and 16, all the way back up at the one yard line here. And Houston is just going to try to get out of the end zone here with Damian Pierce. And it's fourth down. We have to punt. As the Washington Commanders will have excellent field position already in Houston territory at their own 41 yard line. Darnold looks to throw yet again. He's again pass happy out here at the beginning of this drive. Here's Landry with a reception. Inside the 30 now here. Commanders can definitely strike first here as they're winning this field position battle. Darnold looks to throw yet again here. And he's going to settle underneath here to Gibson. As it's second down and eight here, here for Darnold. He's thrown eight passes here. He looks to throw. Feeling the rush. Linovich, he gets back there for the big time sag here. This defense dialed up the blitz at the perfect time. And Chase Linovich does it again for his pass rushing skills. Third down and 15 here. This Houston defense trying to bend but not break. Darnold looks to throw yet again. Looking, looking down the field. End zone here. And that falls off the hands of the defender. And it's going to be intercepted here. I think that's Williams again. His seventh INT. Greedy Williams has just placed himself with his seventh INT of the regular season. 
and leading out his Houston offense here is number 15 Mason Pryor as Pryor dealt with an injury last on the last drive here and he looks to be okay well, off the interception here Pryor sending that in the shotgun here he's still out there looks to throw feeling the rush scrambling looking settling underneath here to Tyler Higby and Higby reels it down for the fresh set of downs and it looks to be like Pryor is okay. We're going to stick with this, uh, um, spreading out this defense here. Pryor, back to this aerial attack, looking to throw family the rush. He's going to be drilled here. Zach Harmon with a big time sack. Oh my, this pass rush here can go get him. Got to keep Mason Pryor away from these injuries here. It's second down and 18 after the sack. Pryor back to this aerial attack, feeling more rush here. And he's going to be again drilled here. And the, the commanders will be able to pick it up here. Thankfully. Hopefully Pryor is okay here. We actually see a commander defender down, but that's a big turnover here. And the commanders have an opportunity here to take the lead. What an exciting first quarter. Entering into the red zone here is Darnold and his team. Darnold dropping back, looks to throw. Sling it down on the outside here to Dobbs and Dobbs will reel it in here. It's gold to go now. This has been a complete um, field position battle as so far through the first quarter as we enter into here into the second quarter here is Robinson with the carry and he won't go far trying to just bend but not break here here in Houston power formation here Robinson the back here's the pitch here Jalen gets back there he's having a breakout season and he gets that excellent tackle here what a job there by Jalen Peachy Oh, Mason Pryor is okay here. He's dealing with some type of injury to his chest. And he's been sacked already four times in the first quarter. How is he going to handle here in the second quarter and the rest of this ball game? Pryor here will start with a two receiver set. Dropping back, looks to throw here. Slings it over the middle here for Nico Collins as Collins reels it down inside the 20 or inside the 42. So maybe Houston will rely a little bit more on their ground and pound game as they started with a pass on this drive. Here goes Damian Pierce. Pierce bouncing it outside. Collins trying to provide some good blocks here as Pierce will get the first down and more. Standing at midfield here is Pryor. Pryor takes the snap, looks to throw here. He's trying to get this point of Brandon Cooks who catches and runs it. He's trying to get to the sideline here and he's tackled inside the 20 here of Washington second down and eight here Pryor takes the snap looks to throw feeling the rush here and this pass rush is just getting home yet again Deron Payne his second sack here the first quarter their fifth sack of today's action oh my our offensive line is struggling this will force a third down and 14 here Pryor takes the snap looks to throw needing to find someone open here and he's trying to get this ball to Collins in the back corner and he can't reel it down his fourth down we have to settle for three well, this has been a very close Defensive battle here early on in this ball game. Darnold dropping back and he's gonna be sacked yet again. Linovich, he did it again. Oh my, his second sack of today's action. Again, this is a field position battle and a sack battle here for the two defensive lines. And Linovich is keeping up with this um, commander's line right now. Third down and nine here as these defenders are pressing these receivers here. Darnold looks to throw here off the man-to-man -man coverage and it's going to be caught here again by Brown but it's fourth down our defense sure is up here's a quick three and out As this Houston offensive line has struggled so far into today's campaign Pryor takes the snap here starting at his own 26 yard line looks to throw trying to get this ball to Paul Wilkerson a name we've yet to call surprisingly and he reels it down here for the fresh set of downs Three tight end formation here for Pryor and his offense. Handing this ball to Damian Pierce, trying to wear out this defense a little bit. Gain a six. Butler checks into the ball game here. Pryor dropping back, looks to throw. Feeling more rush here. Tries to escape the pocket and he's again down. That is Jonathan Allen with the sack. Our interior of this offensive line has struggled so far. Maybe Pryor is rattled out there. It's third down and 14. He's already been sacked six times. Looks to throw here. Trying to get this ball to Nico Collins, who can't catch it. It's incomplete. As both teams are exchanging punts here, will, when will one of these defenses break here? Darnold starting his own 12-yard line, handing this ball off to Gibson, who's trying to make some moves here. Gain of four. It's third down and six here for Darnold, trying to get this conversion. Looks to throw. Gets it outside. It's going to be knocked away. That's Nova with a good knockdown. And here's another punt here for Spire defense. 
minutes. Houston will be able to run one play here before the two minute warning here, starting at their own 45 yard line, handing this ball off to Damian Pierce. Pierce trying to bounce it outside here. He gets a good block there by Brandon Cooks. He's down the sideline and he's gonna be shoved out of bounds here. Right around, I think, the 25-yard line. Good hard running right there. Second down and eight here. Pryor dropping back yet again. Looks to throw more pressure here. And he's going to be sacked again. Chase Young again providing the rush here. And this commander's defense continues to just torment our quarterback. Third down and 19. You got to get to the 15-yard line. Pryor takes the snap, looks to throw. Feeling more rush. Trying to get this ball to Collins, and it's just off the mark. And we're going to have to settle for three. Here comes Matt Gay for a 51-yard field goal attempt. He missed last week. He's trying to take the lead here before the um, halftime. Field goal's up right down the middle. This game's by three. Manders will start at their own 25-yard line here. Two minutes left to go. What can they do? Darnold looks to throw. Linovich almost gets back there for his third sack. Wow. It's third down and 10 here. Darnold's been pressured so much here. It's just going to hand this ball off here. And we're going to call a timeout here to preserve some time. Maybe we can get some points on this board. Oh, with less than a minute to go here for Mason Pryor and his team, what can he do? Pryor starts with an aerial attack here, trying to go deep down the field here. Wilkerson, who's left wide open here. He's down the sideline. He's down the field. Touchdown, Houston. And Paul Wilkerson's 19th regular season touchdown. Oh, my. He does it again. As we're heading into halftime here in week 15 here in Sunday Night Football, this has been a defensive battle as Houston has a 13-3 lead here ending into halftime after the Paul Wilkerson long touchdown. But we have seen a total of 13 sacks in this ball game and they've just made a ton of plays so far. Um, so far, loving to see this defense make some plays. Happy to see that and, you know, overall... You know, we just got to be able to keep Washington off the field. Got to make some more defensive stops. Got to get some more points on the board. And once we can do that, um, I think we got this game in the bag. And here at the beginning of the second half, Washington will start with the football here at their own 25-yard line here, down by 10. Darnold looking deep down the field, and this is going to be caught here. That's Dobbs, the third-year wide receiver, reels it down over Marcus Cook. Got to be able to make a play if you're that rookie right now. Got to see if our pass rush will continue to perform as they did in the first half. Here's Darnold in the shotgun here. Houston sends a blitz now. Here's Dawson Knox, who's been a little less busy here. He gains five more. We have seen this Houston defense be able to get off the field on these third down and shorts. Can they do it yet again here? Motion Thomas now. And this ball off to Gibson, trying to power his way through. But Linovich stood him up here. What a job there by the veteran defensive end. As it's fourth down and one here, and Washington is looking to go for it. They got to get this conversion here. They know how important this drive is. Darnold dropping back, looks to throw wide open here. Is Knox down the sideline here, shoved out of bounds here at the 19-yard line. Fresh set of downs here for this um, Washington offense. Here is Darnold, settles quickly here, and that's Thomas with his first catch. Second down and one here. Darnold under center. Handing this ball off to Gibson and our defense surrounds him very quickly. It's third down yet again. So we just got the word that Chase Linovich will be out for the rest of this ball game here. Oh my. Darnold motion out here. Gibson for this third down and short. It's an empty look now. Darnold dropping back. He looks to throw. Here is Dobbs who reels it down here at the four. Gold to go now here for this Washington offense. First down and goal here at the four as Washington's trying to punch it in. Play action fake. Looks to throw here. Carter. He's going to get back there. Alenzo Carter sacking Darnold all the way at the 16-yard line. What a job here by that pass rusher. It's third down now here for this commander's team trying to not have to settle for three. Motioning Landry, looks to throw his Darnold, failing the rush, gets this ball to Landry, but it'll be fourth down and goal here at the nine. Houston will start with the football here at their own 25 yard line here, prior under center. He's gonna take the snap, handing this ball off to start here with Damian Pierce. Pierce up the middle for six. Third down and two here, Pryor is gonna be motioning Paul Wilkerson here. Pryor handing this ball off to Tony Pollard, and Pollard will fight close to the marker. He gets the first down. On well, the first half, we saw a ton of pressure from this front four. Can Mason Pryor just stay upright? 
Pryor looks to throw, looking, looking, and he's gonna be sacked again! Oh my, Davis with a big time sack here. I think that's number eight of this ball game. Someone needs to get into the year of Mason Pryor and just tell him to get the ball out quicker. He looks to throw yet again, feeling more rush here. Chase Young, his third sack of today's action here. Chase Young, oh my, you just can't stop him. And now it's third down and forever here. Pryor in the shotgun. Takes the snap, looks to throw. Washington sends a blitz here. Looking to go deep down the field here with Nico Collins. And Collins brings it down here at the 42. Oh my goodness. Gotta just rely on number 12. And he does it again for his offense. Third down and four here. Pryor needing this conversion. Takes the snap, looks to throw yet again. Steps up into this pocket, trying to run for it. And he's gonna be hit. Balls out again. His second fumble in today's action. He wanted to scramble for the first down. And that's Philip Sa Sellers, the rookie defender, who breaks up the fumble. That was a promising drive there for the Houston offense, which will end with no points. Their second turnover in today's action. Here comes Darnold, handing this ball off to Gibson. And that's Peppers with a good open field tackle. Third down and two now here for this Washington offense. Darnold again, third straight carry here for Gibson, and he powers his way through for a first down. There's one more quarter here to go here in weeks 15. Team. Houston has a 13 to 6 lead, but this uh, um, Washington team is driving now, trying to tie up this ball game. Here's Thomas who reels it down. Here's third down and three. Darnold needing this conversion here. They've put more of an emphasis on this running game now. And this is Gibson gets the fresh set of downs. Inside the 30 now here for Darnold and his offense. Dropping back, looks to throw. Settles quickly underneath here to Dobbs, who reels it down. Gain a seven. Second down and three here. Entering into the red zone now here is Sam Darnold. Takes the snap. Here goes Gibson. He has ran the ball so much on this drive, and it's wearing out our defense. Gain of eight. And when do you sell out for the run here if you're this defensive coordinator? Darnold under center now yet again. Dropping back, three-step drop. Looks end zone here, and that's Landry who reels it in. Touchdown, Commanders. What a job here for the veteran receiver. And now they're an extra point away from tying up today's action. We have a tied up action here with 7.50 left to go here. And Mason Pryor has the football now. Here goes Damian Pierce. Pierce on the carry, won't go far. Third down and 10 here for Pryor. Bunch formation to his right. Takes the snap, looks to throw now. Looking, looking, feeling the rush. And he's going to be again. Chase, um, Chase Young again. And Pryor again is down on the field. You can't have that. Tenth sack of today's action. Oh my. Now Sam Darnold here, excellent field position, only needs to go 49 yards. He starts with a Gary here with Gibson as they're going to try to wear out this defense and take some time off this clock. Don't forget, you know, if Washington can take at least three or four minutes off this clock here, settle for three, you know, this is going to be a close game here. Darnold looks to throw and he's going to be sacked here. Steven Dalton, the second year edge rusher, he's pulling in a sack and this front four continues to impress. It's now third down and forever here. Darnold changing up the play with six minutes to go here. Got to get inside the 40 of Houston. Darnold dropping back, looks to throw. Looking, looking, plenty of time. Settles underneath here, and this defense swarms to the football. It's fourth down, we'll settle for a punt. And it looks like Mason Pryor is okay. He's dealing with some injuries right now. He's starting at his own 14-yard line. Starting with a play-action fake, looks to throw. Slings it over the middle here for Nico Collins, who catches it, and he almost broke free. He just needed to stay on his feet, and he could have gone the distance. Now the pressure's back on this Washington defense here as Houston's going to try to take some pressure off of their quarterback. Here's Damian Pierce. Pierce breaking free, and no one's going to be able to catch him, I don't think. Phils can't bring him down, and number 13 can. He's shoved out of bounds here at the 10-yard line. Damian Pierce with a big-time run here, sending his offense inside the 10-yard line. That's exactly what you needed here to help out your young quarterback who's dealing with some injuries. Pryor standing at his own 15 yard, Washington's 15 yard line. He takes the snap, looks to the looks end zone here. Collins does it again. And Houston will be taking the lead here in the late stages of the fourth quarter. And now all the pressure and all eyes are on Sam Darnold. What can you do here? Can you put together a drive here to make this game interesting? 4.37 to go here in week 15. What can Darnold do? He can still run the football here with Gibson, who's going to rumble and tumble. And he's going to 
gain 10 yards here. Got to be able to bring, got to just be able to tackle in this game. Here's second down on inches here. Darnold under center, handing this ball to Gibson. And this is Dalton back there for a good tackle, but it's still a first down. Less than four minutes to go here. Darnold with an empty look now. He needs a touchdown on this drive. Looks to throw. Settles underneath here to Brown. Brown reels it down, and he's going to gain nine. Second down and one here. Darnold dropping back as Houston sends the blitz here. Nova! And Nova gets back there for a big time sack. The blitz worked here yet again. What a job here for this Houston defense. Trying to match blow for blow here. It's third down and eight. Darnold looks to throw. Looking, looking. Steven Dalton does it again. His second sack on this drive. Balls out. Picked up by Washington. But it's fourth down and 26 here. Both offensive lines have struggled here. But now it's fourth down and forever here. And Washington is forced to punt here, I believe. Aaron is offense here with a 2.24 left to go here. Trying to close out this close battle. Here goes Tony Pollard. And this is a great start here. Gain of eight. Second down and two here. Injury timeout on the last play here's Pryor handing this ball off to Tony Pollard who will power for a first down as we're gonna have two minutes left to go here two minutes left to go here in the in week 15 here and can Houston close this ball game they just need a first down starting with a carry here for Pierce as Palmer's down on the field and we have to call a timeout because of that they're preserving a little bit of time here second down and six here goes um Pierce Pierce rumbles here and he gains six more and now Pierce is down on the field we've yet to even see Washington call a timeout it's third down and inches here Washington has yet to use a timeout it doesn't matter if we get this first down because we get to get it here but Washington can still stop the clock here with all three timeouts and here in week 15, Houston will be coming out with a victory here, beating Washington 20 to 13 in a very, very close battle here. Both teams combined for seven, 17 sacks. What more do I have to sit here and say that the pass rush in this ball game was key? It was the difference into today's action here. And, you know, Washington did force two turnovers, but our offense was just way more efficient. We were able to run the football more often with Damian Pierce, who was able to hit that big run. Tony Pollard stepped up as well in the late stages of the ball game. And overall, we did our job. And I know this was a close game. Pryor is walking out, thankfully, healthy. But how healthy in reality? He's dealt with injuries, nagging injuries over the last two weeks. We didn't ask for him to be this... Um, this major uh, op or offensive uh, uh, weapon here, but still, you gotta think about it like this. He basically dropped back 26 times and he was sacked almost as many completions. That's not good. Who struggled across our offensive line? Pierce had 150 yards rushing. Nico Collins, he ate, but everyone did. I mean, Smith let out two sacks, Tunsil let out a sack, AJ Can did as well. We have to check the injury to Andre Diller, who's out as well as Chase Linovich, who he got two sacks of his own. Same with Steven Dalton here, but, you know, we got to be checking the injury here to Linovich because that's going to be a key difference potentially in this rest of the regular season here. So we do have one upgrade to do, and this is for Marcus Cook, the third overall pick in this past NFL draft here. And I think we're going to work on man coverage with him. It's his lowest cover coverage rating. Um, I don't typically run a ton of man, but I like them to be about even here. And now they are, so I'm happy about that here. As so we do have two new injuries here, and this is big. Um, this is for Chase Linovich and Andre Diller. They're going to be out now for the rest of the regular season now. And that kind of puts a little bit of question mark and a lot of pressure across this these two defense, offense and defensive lines here. I mean, without these two playmakers and players, I mean... We're going to have to find Phil starters. I think that Stephen Dalton proved that he can play. He deserves to get the rest of this regular season. Maybe we'll put Carl Brooks in as well. Just put a little bit of a rotation in. But I don't know who's going to be playing that sick or that fifth lineman. Um, I, I don't know just yet. I don't know if it's going to be AJ Can or maybe it will be Justin Britt. Um, it's going to be probably one of those two players. But we saw Can struggle. So we got to make a decision here. Well, next time, and here in week 16, we will be playing against the... The 10 and 4 Chicago Bears. Bears are one of the better teams in this league as we're sitting here. As we saw last week, uh, the Titans did beat the Colts. They're now 9 and 5 here. 
And this division race is getting closer and closer, tighter and tighter. We become the number three seed. Um, I don't know how the seeding is working, but hey, we're still in the playoffs. You know, we got to be able to finish off this season, but this is the rest of the way here, guys, is going to be hard. And it's going to get even more difficult with now an injury to Andre Diller in this offensive line. Um, we got to we got to figure something out here. Uh, maybe the game plan is to run the football more as we know that this Chicago pass rush accident really has stepped up massively. They brought in a couple big time players and we're going to have to see what we can do against this Bears team. But guys, we got back to in the winning column here. We're 10 and 4 so far. I believe that this is the best record of so far in the franchise, um, but three games left to go. All three of them are tough opponents. So guys, please leave a like, comment down below what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.